Hello, E. Hunter here. Well, I've got my block back from the uh, machine shop, and I'm uh, in the process of installing my bearings and crankshaft. And what I've done so far is um, I've cleaned the actual block surface with, uh, with acetone and a toothbrush. Um, it should be free of oil and such. Um, after cleaning it with acetone, it needs to be wiped with a lint-free brush. So you can see I've put these bearings on here already and I've got the last one to do. Here is the last bearing, and uh, you know you've got to make sure that that uh, you don't touch the back side with your finger. You know I'm wearing gloves. Your 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 fingers have um, their natural oils on them, and so I'm putting this into the slot here, and I'm actually lining up the hole so that it matches up with the hole that's on the block that carries the oil. So I just, you know, eyeball that in and make sure the two holes are lined up and press down. There we go. Matches up perfect. And uh, now it's time to drop, drop the camshaft down. But before you do that, there's some lube that is to go on the surface, these inside surface of the bearings. Here is the um, type of lube that I'm going to be using. It came with the bearings and I actually ordered a bottle of uh, Permatex Ultra Slick. Um, obviously it's not here in time. And uh, here's a by the way on my bearings. This is what uh, I'm using their, their cleavites. Don't know if you could read the fine print there. Okay, so I've got these five bearings on the bottom, and there's five more bearings that go on the top caps. As you can see, I've got the um, lube on each of the bearings. Now it's, I'm just going to spread it out here. So as you can see, I got a liberal spreading of uh, lube on each bearing. Now it's time to drop the camshaft in. Being very careful with it to drop it down in its journals. And I don't mean drop literally. There we go. Yep. Nice little smooth spin I got there. Okay, now it's time to work on the uh, top bearing, bearings and caps. We're basically going to be doing the same thing, cleaning off uh, the bearings with acetone. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the lube on top of the journals instead of on the caps. I don't know, just a preference. See how that goes. Now with these caps, and I don't know if you could see this, but it looks like there's burnt oil or something that run along that runs along the diameter here, and and this is why I'm I'm taking acetone with a toothbrush and scrubbing these out really well, and also finishing out with a with a um, lint-free cloth.